Bluebird 198, one localizer established, to send Alice. One steps on localizer, send Alice, one now. Bluebird 198, could you give me a wind check, please? I'll show you 240. Welcome aboard once again, um, Fiona, uh, Kevin and myself are about to head off to San Francisco. Nice weather today, we're hoping for a good flight. Uh, 10 hours flight time, flying at 34,000 feet. At the moment, we're just in the middle of the cockpit uh, preparation. I'm going to uh, be the flying pilot today, so I'm going to be loading the flight plan into the MCDU. Fiona's working out our takeoff performance at the moment for the uh, current conditions of the takeoff runway. And I'll uh, talk you through what we're doing as we go along. So I hope you enjoy it. So, Fiona, you're working the takeoff figures there. Yep, so we're looking to use um, optimum flap today to get the Very most good. efficiency out of the aircraft. And uh, we're going to take off with air conditioning on or anti ice off. It's not uh, icing conditions today. You can probably factor ice off for the moment, I think. What would you reckon? Yep. Yeah. Ice off, I think. Yep. And then uh, thrust setting, we, we can use flex thrust today, depending yep. if the figures are available. They're very heavy, so we might have to look at Toga. Okay. And have a look once we calculate. I'm just putting in the current weather conditions for Dublin um, from the ATIS. And uh, they'll be using runway 28 out of Dublin today, which is our westerly runway. If you want to have a look here. Uh, one second. So runway 28 is the, the westerly runway out of Dublin, which is the main runway, it's the longest runway. Um, uh, and we're parked quite close by, we've got a very short taxi out to it. The departure set at the moment is for a uh, Surix departure out of Dublin. We'll look, take a look at that very shortly. Flight plan route has come automatically via our ACARS uh, uplink. It's a feature our Lingus started using about six months ago. So it's very convenient. The flight plan loads automatically, then we just check it from our copy flight plan that it is what it should be. There's also a secondary flight plan on the 3.30, which we normally set for an immediate return back into uh, Dublin. So after departure today, should we have something catastrophic that requires an immediate return, the secondary flight plan is used for that, for coming back into Dublin. The performance is set for departure, optimum flap, we haven't put in the flap yet, we're expecting a flap 1 or a flap 2 takeoff depending on our weight. We've checked that our GPS system is primary, our navigation act is high at the moment. And our old fashioned ADFs and VORs, this aircraft actually still has ADFs, it's so old. So they're set for departure, the VOR that's on Dublin Airport, Delta, Alpha, Papa, and the Dublin VOR which is 5 miles away from Dublin. The NDBs that are straight ahead on the departure path are loaded on the number one. NDB for return would be on the number two. Some people will be still asking nowadays, what's an NDB? <laughs> so that's pretty much the cockpit setup. Um, our load sheet also arrives automatically nowadays via ACARS. Let's just come in here. That allows Fiona now to refine the uh, takeoff figures based on the exact takeoff weight today. And I'm just going to request some clearance now as well. Um, that's Great, okay. thank you very much. In Dublin, we are able to uh, request the uh, clearance to depart uh, via the ACARS. We just need to put in our flight number on the day, which is the EIN 147, so I'll put that in. Uh, our gate number today, we can see out the window here, is 406 Charlie. The ATIS that we requested just a few moments ago is ATIS Tango, so that'll go in. And that's all the information they need, and we can send that off once we get the send prompt. And they normally get back to us within about one to two minutes with uh, our clearance. So it's just very important to keep an eye on it so that it doesn't time out. If it times out, you have to uh, redo it all by voice. That's sent there. Uh, Thank you very much. And um, just for your information, I just uh, ran basic figures and it wasn't able to do flex. Right. So, but it is able to do toga. That's for fine, I'd expect that on those kind of weights. Yeah, the, the, actual, the actual takeoff weight Fiona is going to be today uh, 202, 224, 600. That's based on using 600 to taxi out. We we'll probably only burn 300. We also have extra fuel on board there, what we asked for. So if you base it maybe on 225, 225, 200. Uh, 225, 600. There we go. Yeah, these are better. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd be happy with that. You happy with that too? Yeah, yeah that's the normal. Okay. Very good. So toga, we don't use it very often. So toga for departure, very good, yeah. yeah. And a flap 2 takeoff. Yeah. And here's your clearance has come in while all that's going on. Yes. The 147 is now cleared to San Francisco, runway 28, on a Surix 1 Alpha departure. Squawking 5420 for our next frequency 1218. So we can accept it? Yeah, thank you very much. So we're 20 minutes to go to departure, so shall we take a look at the departure uh, clearance then, the Sorlix departure? Yeah. 
So today we're pushing back from stand 406 Charlie. I'd imagine it'll be a short taxi out. We'd probably go to start point um, Lima, then taxiing out via Bravo 1, Echo 1, and holding short of uh, 28034. So it's a full length runway departure. Uh, we're using Toga Power as we uh, saw. The runway is dry for our performance purposes. And if you check the takeoff thrust is set by 80 knots, call me uh, 100 knots for an instrument cross check uh, if you want to rotate. If you monitor the engine and flight zones during takeoff, call any failure affecting safety. Fitted before V1, I'll call stop or go. For stop, I'll be closing the thrust levers, selecting max reverse thrust. Then you can back me up with spoilers, reversers, decel, 100 knots and 70 knots, and we bring the aircraft to a halt on the runway. And we'll assess the problem. Failure at or after V1, I'll continue with the takeoff. No ECAM actions at the road 640 feet today, except silencing the fireball, obviously, raising the gear as normal. We will have toga power already selected, so there'll be no more power to think of. And uh, a MFRA of 750 feet. Safe today would be 2200 feet, so if we get a problem after departure, it'd be sensible to make a right hand turn, come into a right hand downwind, and then back from ILS back onto runway 28. We'll have a check of the performance to see if that uh, is doable at 225 tonnes. It'd be marginal, we may not have the 15%, but if we're on fire with max manual braking, we should be able to do it that way back onto 28. We have a headwind today. Otherwise, a two engine departure will continue on for uh, Surox. So the RNF CDF runway 28 for Sorox is on 4-30. I've checked the tracks and distances in the box. It goes out to the Oscar Echo NDB. Then it turns right to Delta Whiskey Whisker 04 and then right again up to Sorox. So we can put that on our plan display there. And we can see five miles brings us straight ahead to the Oscar Echo. It turns right, Delta Whiskey 04 and then to Sorox. We're supposed to make Oscar Echo at 3,000 feet. We can see here on the amber constraint we're missing it because we're so heavy. Performance is currently showing accelerating at 3,000 feet. It's only out there at the moment by 440 feet. That will resolve itself after takeoff. We should make Oscar Echo at 3,000, no problem. Stop climb at this state is at 9,000 feet. So we've 9,000 in blue with 9,000 there and 9,000 checks over there. And we're heading up to our cruising altitude of 34,000 feet. Any questions on that departure, Fiona? No, that all looks good. Okay. And I have up there the transition altitude as well. Of Very good. Mm -hmm. So, gross error check on the distance. We're looking at 4496 for a flight time of 9 hours 57. Flight plan has us on 4574, which is good. My flight time of 957, so they match exactly, which is a good gross error check. Fuel and arrival, we were expected to land at about 7.2 tonnes, okay. which shows 7.2 tonnes. So that's all okay there. So we're 15 minutes to go. We have our load sheet in, so I'll give you the takeoff uh, data and we can work out some speeds for ourselves. So here's our figures for today. Um, we've had a quick look through them, but just to confirm, it's based on air conditioning on, anti ice off. Yes. We'll be looking at toga thrust, which is slightly non standard for us, so just okay. uh, to keep that in mind. It's set on um, a weight of 225,600. So we've only about 380 to burn from where we are now. Yeah, that's pretty much where we'll burn taxing out okay. of 2.8. A temperature of 14 degrees, pressure of 1016, and the wind, I just put it down by 5 knots in case it dies off a little bit. Okay. Um, 2.10 at 10, and it's a dry runway. Very so here good. we have takeoff runway is 2.8 full length. Um, and we have, do you want me to put the figures in first in the init page? from the load sheet and then we'll do this or we should? Yeah, I'll give you the load sheet first then, very good. So that's ready to go then. So, today, 24th of January, we are the EI-147, crew is 3 and 8 because we have a relief uh, captain with us today, which is correct. So the DOW, which we saw on the LIDO, slightly modified, is correct at 125307. And the DOI, Checks. which we saw, is also correct, slightly modified for the crew baggage being moved is 55.8, so they both check. Checked. Confirms we're on the right aircraft with the right load. So the max zero fuel then is 26.5. And the zero fuel weight today is 158.9. Block fuel of 66.2. So, because the zero fuel is down a ton what we'd already put in, it's just asking us to be sure to be sure that the zero fuel weight is correct because they disagree at the moment. That's confirmed. So we cured the fuel, we'll just check it here. I'm showing 
And we're checking here, 26.5 matches 158.9. Checks. Very good. Fuel on board is correct. It gives a takeoff weight then today of 224600. 224.5 is close enough, yes. Good. Trip fuel is correct. Giving us a landing weight today of 166.8. And 166.3. Very good. Yes. Trim for takeoff is 26%. Which we're checking over here is within 0.6, which is good. And 26% should equate to 4.5 up, which on the trim wheel we can see is 4.5 up. And that's checked. So just to confirm, we are doing a flap 2 today, so I have 2 slash 4.5 up. Fantastic, thank you very much. Okay, so then to go enter our figures then, which we've gone through all this. Yeah. We're happy with um, them. So again, it's for a weight of 225, 600, and it says 28 full length. There's no shift, flap 2. Two is confirmed. Uh, we have an engine height acceleration of 1750. Confirmed. V1 of, uh, there's no flex obviously, sorry. V1 of 147. 147 matches our flight number. <laughs> VR of 148. 148. And the V2 is 155. 155. So V1 147, VR 148, V2 155 should equate to a clean speed today of 242. And 242 here as well. Is there a check? This is a copy of our security declaration that's uh, filled out by the crew when we've done the cabin security uh, check on arrival to make sure there's nothing suspicious left on board by anybody. This is a no-talk that some personal electronic devices are stored down in the hold and they've been loaded in accordance with the loading provisions so the captain's just notified of that and we give copies of that to our um, boat master on arrival. Copy of the load sheet, we always leave one copy with the station, that's the one we've just uh, been going through there. So that's the final bit of paper that gets handed over. And we obviously keep copies for ourselves then in the cockpit, load sheet and the uh, dangerous goods notification. So that completes the paperwork. Okay. So we have 10 minutes to go. Shall we do a before start check? Absolutely. Thank you. So before start check says the cockpit preparation. It's completed. The EFB switches. We don't have them on this don't aircraft. Don't have them on this aircraft. The gear pins and covers. Kevin has seen them removed down below because they were there on the walk around, but uh, they're now removed and stowed. Checks the signs. On auto and armed. Aiders. So the uh, aiders are aligned. Five three two five four position is checked. And you I've have logged it on the master. You've logged on the master. Yeah, West zero zero six one four point six. So it's checked and logged with no drift. Fuel quantity, and we were looking for 66 tons. So we got 66.2 on the block, which is good. Our pumps are on, the fuel is balanced, and 2400 in the trim tank is as expected. And I've initialized the eight cars there. Thank right. you very much. And the barrel reference. So the barrel reference 1017, just to check the ages. 1017 gives me 200 feet and uh, standby within limits. And that's checked. That's down to the line complete. Great, thank you very much. So the main cargo doors are closed, which is looking good. Just a couple of bags to go into the bulk cargo, and we'll be on our way in about 10 minutes. I think weights normally on runway 28 in Dublin in excess of 215 to 220 tonnes require more power than a flexible takeoff power. Um, it really is an engine life performance issue. You try to use flex on the engines so as not to take them up to their full power. Over the lifetime of the engine, it saves a lot of maintenance costs. It certainly saves a lot in engine life. But occasionally the aircraft just gets to the point where it's too heavy and requires the full amount of power that's available for takeoff. So that's called toga power in the business, which stands for take off or go around power. Um, so the engine will be working to its fullest flat out. Not quite the 70,000 pounds of thrust today being a, a non standard day, but uh, it's as much power as we can get. That's the only thing unusual. We'll also be using flap 2 for takeoff, which in the last couple of months I suppose is a little bit unusual. Uh, for fuel saving, to take off with flap 1 is a slightly cleaner configuration and saves a little bit of fuel. But once again, if the aircraft gets to a point where the weight is um, so high, you have to use flap 2, which we always used to use up until about a year ago. Um, other than that, we're hoping for a good flight, good weather, good weather in San Francisco. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, the captain speaking. My name is Owen Fitzgibbon, on behalf of myself and my fellow captain Kevin Quinn, First Officer Fiona Bonk, 
You're all very welcome on board our Lingus service to San Francisco. It's a very quick flight time today to San Francisco. We'll just be airborne for 10 hours, so that should have us in still slightly ahead of schedule. It's a pleasant day for flying once we climb through the blustering conditions here at Dublin, nice and smooth at our cruising altitude. Very northerly routing, as you'd expect today. We'll be turning right after takeoff and climbing up overhead to the north of Ireland, leaving the coastline just at uh, Derry. So more information about the routing once we're airborne. In the meantime, sit back and relax, make yourselves comfortable. And we'll talk again once we're in the air, and we'll update you on the arrival time into San Francisco this afternoon, and we'll give you the latest about the conditions. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy the flight. Thank you. Oh, I'll take the rest of the check then, please. So, before start below the line says mobile phone and iPad. Off and stowed. Takeoff data. So we're checked and we're set for the TOGA takeoff. 147, 148, 155, and the clean speed 242. It's checked. Windows and doors. Eight closed, slides armed, cockpit locked in, closed here. And Ryan Shamrock, uh, just holding short for under left here. No ATC transponder. Is auto. Parking brake. Set, pressure's checked. And the beacon. Stand by, I'll talk to ground. Cockpit to ground. Guard copy, go ahead. Confirm all doors and hatches secure now on the pin in position. All doors and hatches are secure, pins are installed, and today we have a nose lifter. Very good, just stand by now and we'll get you the pushback. So, Cross 3 4, stand 1 3 2, Romeo, cover 2 3 down there. Before start checking, hey, from actually change it now. Go over to the hotel, it'll be uh, a little bit easier for you. So, hotels, cross 3 4, 1 3 2, Romeo. Thanks very much, hotels, cross 3 4, for stand 1 3 2, Romeo, cover 2 3 down there. Right, 8 Bravo Alpha, monitor tower, 186. 186 for our right, 8 Bravo Alpha. Ground, good morning to you. It's a Shamrock 147, we're on sand 406, Charlie, fully ready, requesting push. Shamrock 147, push start approved from 406, Charlie, frequency after departure, 132.575, QNH 1017. We are clear to push and start, the frequency after departure will be 132.575 and the QNH 1017, Shamrock 147. A-firm, report ready for taxi. We'll go. Cockpit to ground. And go ahead. And we are cleared for pushback now. The parking brake is still set. Okay, brake set and uh, going to lift there now and I'll call you back for release. Okay, brake still set now. You're cleared to lift. Lifting. He didn't give a start up uh, position, did so he? Know? Do you want me to confirm with him, Lima? Must be nobody out there, but I guess it is Lima, yeah. yeah. And ground from the Shamrock 147. Can you confirm start point Lima is okay? Hey, from Lima or Kilo, your okay, choice. Thank you, sir. Another nice. on-time departure. Nice. How do we do it? Cockpit to ground. I go ahead. You can let us know when we're cleared to start engines. No problem. Clear on one. Starting number one, thank you. So we're about to start the engine now. So engine starts, it goes to ignition start. And we're looking at our engine instrument page here as we uh, follow through the engine start. So we start engine number one, first of all. Happy? Happy. Starting number one. So we see our start valve opens. That's going to turn the N2. Ignition B is selected. There's the fuel flowing now and the engine is lighting up. The N1 is now turning. And the oil pressure is checked and it's good. Parameters are stabilizing now. We get a little avail indication on our N1. We check the parameters. And while Fiona's watching the engine number one stabilize, I'm going to start number two. So, monitoring one. Starting two. Once again, start valve opens. We watch the N2 starting to turn. Pressure is good, N1 is turning. 
Okay, that's fair point. Lee Mark in the S. Set park and break on, please. And the parking brake is set now. Pressure is good, thank you. The available indications are number two, so if you want to keep an eye on both of them, please. Monitoring both. Thank you very much. We didn't factor in the APU for this departure, no, it was Toga, but no, the. Uh, Toga. Okay, so the That's APU it. is going off. Very so good. one and two are stable. Both stable, thank you. And just confirming flap two for departure. Checks. Cockpit the ground. And drop the cockpit, go ahead. That's two good engine starts now. You may disconnect and we'll take the signal straight ahead or on the right hand side. Thank you very much. Okay, clear disconnect. I'll see you straight ahead with the pins. Have a good one, talk to you again. Thanks a million. Bye bye now. Bye now. We'll check our flight controls now. Elevator check first of all, full up, fully down, and neutral. Checks. Left aileron is up with five spoilers. The right aileron is fully up with five spoilers. And there's neutral. Checks. So the pin we've seen, the bar is gone. Binary 6 Delta November, taxi via the hotels, cross 3-4, link 4, stand 124. Fully left. Uh, hotel, custody for link 4 to 1 to 4 right there, 6 Delta November. Fully right. And neutral. Okay, and my flight controls. I have full up. Full down. Ground right now, 6 Fox Trot Hotel checks. on the Fox Inner uh, left, request. Left aileron spoilers. Right now, 6 Fox Trot Hotel, right, right turn right at link 5, top of 1, left runway 1, 6, and hold short runway 2. And the app start check, please. So after starts is anti-ice. It's uh, often not acquired and we didn't factor in the performance. Hey, really. Engine starts selector. Normal. Ground good day, Mike Bravo 5, Papa 2, Bravo 5, Pitch trim. So 4.5 point five. Mike Delta, Mike Bravo, Papa good day, taxi Bravo is Mike 2, hold short 3, 4. Flight control. Bravo is Mike 2, hold short 3, 4, Mike Delta. And the ECAM status. Is checked. That is after start check complete. Thank you. So, you happy for taxi? Yes, please. And Graham from the Shamrock 147 requesting taxi. Shamrock 147, taxi Bravo 1, Echo 1, hold short 3428. Bravo 1, Echo 1, hold short 3428, Shamrock 147. So Bravo 1, Echo 1, that was as brief, Fiona. So we're going up the hill here, minimum power it says, but we'd have to use a little bit to get up. Out of the Bravo 1, left turn Echo 1 behind the Ryanair. Nice Six. short little taxi. So are we clear on your side? We are clear on the uh, We're clear on the left. So I'm showing 30 knots in the speed tape, 147, blue 155 magenta, climb blue, now blue, one 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 two at the moment. Two one zero degrees one eight, runway two eight, clear takeoff, 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 clear so to review the briefing again, it was full length of runway 28 using TOGA, 47, 48, 55, Sorex departure is checked there, to flight level 90, 9000 set for the moment, and the nav aids, we have Oscar Echo for tracking straight ahead, and uh, Delta Alpha Papa. Two was the flaps today. Still so about 5-3, Echo two Delta, set, wind 220 degrees, 1-8, runway 147, it's a toga takeoff, and that is going to be 106.6%. Uh, Set 5420, as per the clearance. Checks. And the ECAM middle. His takeoff is no blue. That's down to the line, please. I'm going to be off the radio for a moment, check the radio. Right, yo. He's just sitting down. We might just give him, we might give him 30 seconds to get his cabin secure. It's a real short taxi, this isn't it? It's great. The cabin is secure. Packs and APU. So the packs are both on and the APU is off. And the cheap gas, you're happy? Yep, T A R A. Yep, thank you very much. So that's 
that is before takeoff check. Thank you. Go at five, Jack it out. I think you vacate Echo Five, then taxi Bravos and contact ground one to one destination. Bye bye. Shamrock one four seven. Good afternoon. Line up from eight two eight away. Line up from eight two eight away. Shamrock one four seven. So the approach is clear, Fiona. Nothing out there. I'll take the strobe on, please. Take the windshield to auto. And we're okay for weather radar today. That's all. Just no queue. This is nothing of a build-up nature. That's departure frequency, is it? 32575, right. So a little bit of wind from the left. Uh, power Shamrock 36 Tango with you. Coming up 5 miles to it. Shamrock 36 Tango, good day. Continue approach. Wind 210 degrees 15, max 26, minimum 10 knots. Complete heavy to the Degrees, max 26. So that's about, what, a 15 knot crossing? Might feel a little bit bumpy after takeoff. Yes, out of 2,000 feet. Yeah. Shamrock 147, wind 210 degrees 14, max 26, minimum 10 knots, runway 28, clear takeoff. Bye bye. Runway 28, clear for takeoff. Shamrock 147, bye bye. Are we all set? Set. Okay, let's go to San Francisco. <laughs> Stabilized. Set it over. Mantoga SRS, runway. All of us blue, runway is updated. Power is set. Indications are That. Nine zero nine. Contact approach. One two one left. One one. Five zero. That's great. And our three thousand feet is no problem. Very good. Dublin. Uh, good afternoon. Ryanair one four four seven descending flight one three seven inbound back south smashing uniform. Ryanair one four four seven continue on the back zone Lima. Back zone Lima one four four seven. Flying green. Ryanair three X three zero descend flight level one three zero. Descend flight level one three zero. Ryanair three X three zero. F plus increasing, flap one please. Speed checks, flap one, one plus F blue. So Oscar Echo turning right for Delta Whiskey, Whiskey 04. Check. S plus flap zero please. Speed checks, flap zero, zero blue. Rhino 9 or Delta Mike, reduce speed to 230 knots, 300 approach, 1 to 1, that's my 1. Speed 230, approach 1 to 1, that's my 1, Rhino 9, that's my goodbye.
And the after takeoff check, please. Right, next reaction is here to descend, flight level 110. He's up. Descend, flight level 110, flight level 310. Packs. Packs are both on now, and we're pressurizing. APU. APU is off. And the barrel reference. 4,400 feet at the moment on 1017. That checks. It's after takeoff check complete. Thank you. So standard now on the altimeter is uh, 1013, standard passing 5.2 and 5 for flight level 160 blue. Flight level 160 blue checks. I'll take autopilot number one, please. AP1. Thank you. Right, 1447, descend flight level 100. Flight level 100, right, 1447. Shamrock 147, contact Shannon 119075. Shannon 119075, Shamrock 147, thanks. Right, now 3 x ray to descend flight level 9 or 0. Shannon, good afternoon to you. It's the Shamrock 147, we're out of flight level 7.8 for flight level 160, moving to expect test of whiskey, whiskey 04. Shamrock 147, Shannon identified climb flight level uh, 300. Climb flight level 300, Shamrock 147. Shamrock 147, clear direct to revenue. Clear direct revenue, Shamrock 147. So flight level 300 blue. Flight level 300 blue checks. Happy for revenue with the beams. A firm confirmed. So nav green now, revenue with the beams. Checks. Ocean entry today being a gory. That's it. <coughs> right, we have ten up. So passing ten. Got lights off at the moment. I leave them strapped into the top of the line to see how we're doing. That checks. You can clear the rad navs, please. Sure thing. We'll keep the secondary for the moment in case we have to return back to Dublin. That's checked. 